after a chaotic evening at the Myrtle Rigby Health Complex yesterday, government functionaries and emergency service providers are now in a better state of addressing the tragedy of the Haitian boat capsizing at sea. Director of Medical Service Dr. Rufus Ewing in a press briefing this afternoon assured the nation that his department is well capable and has been handling the issue and the situation, although termed a mass casualty, should not be of a major concern for the residents of the TCI. Right now we have not uh, declared uh, this, this emergency a disaster because even though it is uh, weighing heavily and is overwhelming uh, our resources, but by no means our resources could be met locally. So we haven't declared this uh, situation as yet a, a disaster. Dr. Ewan thanked all involved for the united effort to bring some sort of calm to the issue, noting that the medical department has received lots of support, not only from the local community and civic organizations, but also from the private medical sector. But we still appreciated the support given by uh, persons like the organization like the Red Cross um, that brought in food supplies and waters and blankets as well. Uh, and also assisted in the triage of those individuals um, at the dock. And the staff at the military health complex who worked uh, tirelessly uh, throughout the process from the beginning to the end and still, and still ongoing, um, and all of them uh, pitch in and, and put in their, uh, their, their great, um, put in a great effort. Also the private medical sector in that regard. Um, so I think there are, because of the camaraderie and, and the support we received from all of the agencies and the volunteer organizations, it made it less burdensome on, on governmental agencies uh, to deal with. Also expressing his sympathy to the families of the deceased Haitians was the governor, His Excellency Gordon Weatherall, who released the following statement, quote, I was saddened to learn of the wreck of West Caicos of the vessel carrying a large number of Haitian nationals and the loss of life. This is a terrible tragedy, and at this time, our thoughts and prayers are with the families of those who were lost. I would like to thank the officers of the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force, Marine Division, and the United States Coast Guard, who between them rescued over 100 survivors. I should also like to record my thanks to the various agencies who have come together to offer assistance to the survivors reaching Providencialis and to the many volunteers from within the Haitian community and beyond who have provided help and comfort at this difficult time. Tragic events of this sort underline the importance of using safe, legal, and orderly methods of travel and migration. End quote. For WIV4 News, I'm Tian Thomas.